We're now going to be talking about the concept of jobs, sub customers and projects. Now, these are usually concepts that are industry specific, meaning some industries might have types of projects or jobs that are extended in nature and they want to be applying both income and expenses and tracking them on a product or job by job type of basis. So this could be a job cost system. Often construction companies have this kind of system where they have longer projects that are going to take some time to complete. Also note that if you have extended timeframes of projects that you're trying to complete, there could be distortions to when you should be recognizing the revenue. For example, if I go to the flow chart here, normally we recognize revenue when the job is done on the revenue recognition principle of an accrual principle when we've given the inventory or when we have done the work that's usually when we invoice and create sales receipts but if you have a job that's going to take a long period of time then the question is well should i be recognizing revenue on some basis throughout that time frame as we do the work and that's where you get like percentage of completion concepts and completed contract kind of concepts now those are going to be industry specific so note that if you're a bookkeeper these are areas that you might want to specialize in because there, there's going to be less competition because less people know that specialized uh, area. But also you want to be careful if you're not specializing in those areas on what kind of clients you're picking up uh, as you're as you're picking up clients to to do work. If you're if you're a bookkeeper, 